uh, our top slab is going to be approximately 400 millimeters wide as you see it down through the guts here with this being the cutoff and then around the coastline this is going to count another 400 of stunning ocean effects. The yellow tape measure represents Manly Beach and Manly Liquorland. So we'll have a really cool little Manly Liquorland sign in here and then we're going to have stunning coastline, rocks, waves, potentially some little boats and other bits and pieces. Okay guys, so just making up the uh, mold for the Liquorland ocean table. So we're just cutting this to 800 wide. Normally I use my uh, 3 meter track for my track saw but it's in the um, other workshop at the moment so we'll just have to make do with this. I'm just using a uh, form ply, it's what I use for my uh, kit sets as well and um, this stuff's really good. Heaps of wax, uh, two to three coats, two to three applications. This will be under here like this. There's a drop down. So I'm um, just going to seal up this bad boy. I've missed way too much, but at the end of the day, I've got another one that I'm going to seal up. It's I'll put a link uh, down to our sealer. Um, under this video and also on the Facebook page. As you can see I haven't worried about um, you know um, as you can see I haven't worried about planning and sanding the bottom side. This has got a lot of divots and fashions and once it's all um, once it's all poured with the cast, now the bottom's going to be seen anyway. So we're just getting it sealed. And just watch this carry come to light. Get the sealer going on. I did something very silly. I don't often do silly things, but <laughs> I had a um, accident. I had a 60 gram jar of color passion Michelle blue, and, and I dropped the whole thing into the 20 kilo bucket of resin. So my base layer is going to be pretty dark. Excuse me. This is the fourth base layer in.
slip this pearl. I'm just going to drizzle some pearl in places and over time, over the next couple of days, it's just going to bleed out and uh, do what I want it to do. This effectively is going to be the outside edge. Okay, 17 layers to go. 17 layers to go. Next up, uh, we're going to start doing some sand and some uh, uh, rock formations now. Okay guys, so <coughs> now I'm going to start to do the sand layers, uh, build up my beaches and just work out how I'm going to place out my coastline and do some uh, ridges uh, through here. So I'm going to have channels and ridges like when you're looking down from space. Uh, this the bottom's not dead flat. You've got pit parts that come up and parts that go down. Oh yeah. Can I have a white apron, please? We're going to have quite a few fishermen in that around here, guys, because, like, you know, seriously, nothing like getting back from a day on the sea, getting up to Manly Liquorland and grabbing a few beers and ales. So I might actually just bring some of this up a bit higher, yeah, because we're going to have, like, uh, lots of rock and bark and stuff. a slip layer and just uh, start putting in some um, white water effects okay you also I've just gone over and just put a base layer again of white and then as I work my way through doing the effects, building up the rocks at the core base, um, it will just help me plan it all out. I'm going to be putting a big island through this part and also I will most likely put another island down here and possibly another little island but coming around here to create like a channel. putting in some obsidian here, volcanic glass. This stuff is very bubbled and it just, it's 
gonna just make a really cool effect for like uh, a reef system. We're building up this little atoll here, sort of underwater sea mount uh, with a hole in it. Okay, so this end of the uh, Manly Liquid Land Table I'm doing with uh, Black Obsidian. Now we're going to have some bush and growth on the end of the cliff face there. Coming down, waves breaking around the Black Obsidian. And then on the outside edge we've got a couple of orca. As we move down the coastline, as you can see from high above, it's like a broken reef system coming out here and there with the big channel through the middle. Channel through the middle will be slightly lighter and then a deep channel coming out here with another big island. So a blackish a prairie island is going to come into this part. Down the coastline still a bit more black obsidian and then we've got some plant life and we're going to have a couple of fishermen here, a few fishermen around the rocks here and uh, maybe some uh, boats sort of cruising around the broken fossil shell area of the uh, theme. And then this part here, we're gonna just say this is Manly Beach with uh, light blues and turquoises washing up into here with uh, a stream running back down into the bay. I'm just about to um, do an effects layer over the Manly Little land uh, table. Uh, but you just put some, um, uh, put the little people onto the boats. So we got the boats here. This is a uh, manly Lickland job. And we've got some boat people, and we've got some guy showing off on his lilo. We've got some people just chilling out there, drinking some beers and wines that they got from manly Lickland. We've got these guys on the turps out on their uh, rowboat. And got some little people around the shoreline. So we're just going through and doing some detailing. We've got this guy on the motorboat, but I think he's had a couple of beers too many. He's keeled over, he's having a bit of a snooze. And then we've got a couple of other people just chilling out on their deck chairs. And what else have we got here? Oh, we've got a couple of guys in inflatable pack raft coming through this gut of this island. And we've got some archerite crystals to make up this reef. And I've just put a little bit more ground up archerite through here, add a different effect, and also another little while on there. So, overall, uh, hashtag manly Lickland or hashtag Lickland manly. What do you think? It's coming along all right? Yeah, coming up very good. Well, it's a shame you're not going to be here for finishing it off, Jenny. I but know. Um, you'll see it in a few weeks' time when you come back. And uh, this will be ready for delivery. Yeah, we're doing a lot already. I really want to put the fish on it. Yeah, it's a couple more layers to go before those guys go in. But yeah, overall it's looking really cool. Mm. So Ricky is just uh, stirring up our epoxy resin. Good girl, make sure you scrape the sides of the bucket. Scrape the sides of the bucket. Yep. And uh, what I like to do guys, is I like to go around the outside edge, make sure that the outside edge is a good scrape. Okay guys, so this is Manly Liquorland. Hashtag Manly Liquorland. 
or hashtag local and manly. This is the ultimate, and I mean the ultimate uh, spirits, wines, tasting table, which is going to Manly Liquor Land. Manly Liquor Land is situated in Whangaparaua, and this uh, unique one-off piece is going to be a showstopper in their shop. So if you guys have wholesalers, uh, businesses, or you're looking for the ultimate b bespoke piece for home, make sure you get in touch with us at ResonableTablesNZ.com, ResonableWood.com, uh, ResonableWood.co.nz, or on our Facebook page, or call me on 021-966-387. Yes, sweetheart? Oh, Keep going. No, not really, but that's what it looks like. Wow, doesn't it look really cool? Uh, just get the resin to um, run where we want it to run, which I think is what I'll be doing now. Just uh, give it a little bit of a lift and a little bit of a jack. Um, I can tell that it's fairly level. I mean, my bubbles aren't moving too much. and uh, work out where I'm going from here. Right, yeah, so that's going to be the plan. What we're going to do is we're going to laminate and uh, swamp carry on right around the outside edge, the side. Uh, pack the side out by about another 20 mil, and then have uh, ocean effects coming down and over the top of the swamp carry. And then on the inside of the swamp carry, I'm going to box this out. And we're going to have a big um, voice activated light box underneath so my clients can uh, illuminate. DC mailing it. Hells Bells on the Rock, home of the Rock 2000 countdown with Tash. We're straight back into it at number 468 to 8 o'clock on Monday morning. My good mate Westy Lee is coming up next and he's got a great looking and free Rock 40 for you with Queen. So I'm just um, painting the mould a bit uh, just where the um, thumb is coming up to give a bit of structural strength. Uh, to the wave format um, that I'm going to be using, and the blue is just a, you know, just to blend it in just a little bit more once I start putting the uh, resins in. Well, yeah, since that's done, just going to uh, wax up the mold.
and just putting a bit of wax um, over all my black area. Jenny, what do you think of the uh, concept? It's looking really good, and I think it's going to work. Yeah, it's looking really good. We'll come out and see in 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and see what's going to happen. Yeah, so we'll come back, and um, I've used this effect for doing waterfalls, but that's been on solar cast. Um, I think this is going to work out really well. I'm quietly confident. Um, that's the only reason why I'm taking the punt with uh, putting a couple of grand of resin into doing this effect. So we're just um, making the outer mould now for the uh, manly liquor land table. So what I've got here is I've got a strip of 12mm um, um, uh, press bits uh, which has been silicon to the um, upper third of the table which is where the clear resin is. And then we are putting an outer shell on the outside uh, so we can create our mold for doing our, um, our big pour. So big pours are gonna start coming from tomorrow. We'll have three to five days of big pours. And um, yeah, uh, this, this piece is gonna come up absolutely stunning. Okay guys, I've uh, just done a uh, deep cast pour on Manly Lickland table. That's hashtag Manly Lickland or hashtag Lickland Manly. So I've just done a uh, deep cast of uh, Royal and Pickle Peacock Blue. Now when this gets to 24 to 36 hours, we're going to introduce white and swirl white into this uh, blue. So you'll have areas which are highly defined with white, like white lines running through it and other areas which has been uh, toned down and swirled up quite a lot.
So as you can see, we have pushed the white in, which is all going to be uh, shaped. And uh, starting a layer of turquoise on top. Turquoise is getting blended into the blue. Okay guys, check it out, just on the next layer, this is a layer of uh, turquoise and uh, you'll be thinking, oh my god, there's uh, yeah, quite a big transition between that whitey blue layer and the turquoise but in actual fact, <coughs> um, yeah, a lot of that's just stuck to the outside of the uh, perspex Okay, so just done another um, deep pour of uh, turquoise deep cast and put in all of this uh, white which is in the background so once you start carving into that uh, this piece is going to look really, really, really amazing. Okay guys, this is uh, Little Land Manly, Manly Little Land, hashtag Manly Little Land and just about to do hopefully what will be the final four. Jimmy's just picked up a resin for me. Thank you, darling. And this layer, the final layer, is a very, very, very light turquoise. But so light. It's uh to give you an example it's Um, each bunch is three and a half kilos of uh, resin, and it has half a square. Only oh, half a square. Uh, Tell a passion turquoise dye in it. We've just done the pour in the side here. Oh yeah. Manly Liquor Land, ocean themed table, water running off the sides. Normally I'm trying to um, heat my room up, but uh, tonight I'm going to be trying to cool my room down and just keep this as cool as I possibly can. Keep it cool. Okay guys, so this is the first side coming off. Uh, we've got the inside edge done and oh my god, very happy with my mould, oh, she's held together really well, no leaks, another stunner. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, what the heck is he doing? But, yeah, that all makes perfect logical sense to myself. So I'm just going to make a start on this, try to get half this uh, table done today. Half done today. I really hate this, eh? I really don't want to do it.
Let's put on a bit of um, hardener, using hardener, the thinnest product, uh, just so I can get a bit of an insight into how it's looking and how it's coming up. Okay guys, so this is Manly Liquorland, hashtag Manly Liquorland, or hashtag Liquorland Manly. So I'm just about to mix up five kilos of epoxy for my first coat, and see how it goes. I'll be heating my room up today to 27, 28 degrees, and maintaining their temperature. Okay guys, so this is uh, Manly Little Land, hashtag Manly Little Land or hashtag Little Land Manly. Now basically the light that I've got under there at the moment is just one of these lights that I use in my workshop. As you can see, it's illuminated all the way through. So that looks absolutely stunning and it's illuminated the edge. I know in the video, it doesn't really portray it as well as what it does when you look at it uh, first hand. Absolutely stunning. It looks like uh, fluorescence in the water and I am very, very happy. Yeah. Guys, so this is the uh, uh, big uh, manly liquorine table that we've just um, delivered and installed. And uh, yeah, so what do you reckon? Are you happy? Fantastic job. Thank you so much, Paul and Jimmy and the team. It has been an amazing, amazing journey and uh, with all the updates that we've been getting and the final result is mind-blowing. Oh, that's so really good, darling, as long as you're happy with it. So there you have it, guys. It's got voice activated lighting. It's on a temporary frame at the moment and we are modifying the frame. So another really cool thing that we're doing is we're going to have a competition. So what you have to do guys is you have to um, make a purchase from uh, Manly Liquorland, come up with a, a concept idea for the ultimate, the ultimate Barlena. The Barlena will be this size <coughs> and uh, between reasonable tables and Manly Liquorland we're going to be giving away a big Barlena that's going to be worth quite a bit of coin. So if you want to uh, get on on that, um, from Monday, check out Manly Little Ends Facebook page and our Facebook page and all the details will be there.